This is John King. I'm speaking with Dan Springer from the Gallatin County uh, Sheriff's Department. Uh, I understand that uh, it's it's day two now of, of a search for an eight-year-old girl. Uh, tell us what's going on over there. Yeah, we currently have about 50 uh, search and rescue members that are out and we're searching both by boats, by air, as well as by ground. And uh, the uh, are these mostly volunteers or members of the Sheriff's Department or, or what? Yeah, they are. The uh, majority of them are volunteers from multiple different counties. Uh, Gallatin County Search and Rescue, Lewis and Clark, Broadwater, uh, Madison County, and Flathead County. So we've got a number of folks from around the state assisting in this. Why is this so? Why is it requiring so many uh, members and so many vehicles? Is it a very particularly difficult area to search? You know, it's the confluence of of two rivers, and um, it's a, a, a large search area, uh, as well as just um, you know fairly dangerous waters, lots of uh, deadfall and debris, uh, especially where the confluence occurs. Do we do we now know how she fell in and? Uh when they think that's ha- that this happened? Um, well, we do know when she went in. It was, uh, you know, two nights ago, around 7.30 p.m. You know, all the details are not known exactly, um, but she did. Uh, she was by the, the edge of the river in the water there throwing rocks and just and flipped and went into the water. Oh, wow. Now, as far as the search, do you have a timeline of how long you plan on searching if you can't find her? Well, we're committed to, you know, taking as long as it, as it takes or spending as much time as, as we need to. Um, we're committed to finding her and helping the family with getting some resolution.